If I can keep my head held high enough, I'll just be love and watch the smiles come. Bring my spirits up. There's some shit I like to fix, but I still know that I'm blessed. Day two now of the trials for the father and son accused in the death of a California college student. It has been 26 years now since Kristen Smart went missing. Paul Flores is charged with killing her, while his father, Ruben, is accused of helping him hide that crime. Hi, everybody. Today was supposed to be the recap for day two of the Paul and Ruben Flores trial for the murder of Kristen Smart back in 1996. This would have been court date of July 19th, 2022. But guess what? Another delay. Once again, the delay is said to be due to a medical situation with one of the parties involved in the case. And I was trying to guess who it would be. My first guess was Ruben because he's over 81 years old. But I guess I was wrong. We do know that he arrived in court just a while ago. I actually just, Joy, saw him uh, walk into this building with uh, Susan Flores, the mother of Paul Flores. Not sure that he received the news that the trial may have been delayed today, so we're expecting him to walk out at some point. So there you have it. Put it in the comments as far as who you think is causing the delays. Since we don't have coverage today with the delays, I want to go a little more in-depth regarding day one, uh, cover some of the slides and different things that were presented since we don't have anything new today. This slide shows what we've already known, that Friday, May 24th, 1996, between 10 and 10.30 p.m., both Paul and Kristen were at the party on Crandall Way. At the party, Paul fell on top of Kristen. We then go to Saturday, May 25th, 1996, between 12 and 12.30 a.m., Kristen was found face down, incapacitated on the lawn. Between 2 and 2.30 a.m., Paul takes Kristen back to the dorms. Paul goes to the movie sometime that evening, but he's unaccounted for from 2.30 a.m. to 6 o'clock p.m. that day, Saturday, May 25th, 1996. The next slide shows March 15th and 16th of 2021. There was a search warrant for Ruben's 710 White Court home. Cadaver dogs show change in behavior. Ground penetrating radar finds a human size anomaly. Archaeologists find staining. The staining is positive for human blood. Found two to four feet below the surface. Not looking good for Ruben. Uh, but we do know that the prosecutor did give the opening against Ruben Flores late yesterday afternoon here in Salinas. And Today, Tuesday, July 19th, 2022, was scheduled to be Ruben's attorney's opening statements. No time has been given for Thursday's resuming of the trial, which will be July 21st, 2022. Once again, no one will speak on who or what the health issues are, What's causing the delays? The trial's already expected to last into at least October, and who knows with the delays how long the trial will last. So far, Paul's defense strategy appears to be victim shaming, blaming the victim, age-old defense. They're trying to say this is Kristen's fault. They've painted a picture of her being someone who lives an at-risk lifestyle versus an average college freshman. I do have to cover both sides, strategies, etc., but I refuse to repeat the nonsense the defense presented blaming Kristen for her disappearance. Juries can convict without a body, although the defense is going to use the fact that she probably left on her own and that she might not even be dead at all. A judge has ordered limited media coverage, not allowing broadcast cameras inside the courtroom, only still photography. Here's coverage of them actually doing the ground penetrating radar at the 710 White Court address. This is a, an area in forensics that's referred to as forensic taphonomy, uh, where you have a disturbance in the soil. Soil commonly is very packed down and very tight. 
what they use, and I think you saw an image of it just a second ago, is ground penetrating radar. And that area that they uh, go over with that technology, they can tell if there's a soil disturbance. I think that's all fine and good. And if they shore that up with biological evidence, we talked about blood. Underneath the deck, in his backyard, hidden beneath some avocado trees, investigators found a burial site. When searching for Kristen, her father went to Reuben's house. And Reuben Dare said, and I quote, you better get out of here or someone's going to get shot, end quote. The next slide used by the prosecution talked about while the search continued for Kristen, Paul and Reuben did not join in the search. Instead, Reuben was tearing down the missing posters with Kristen's smiling face. He was calling her nasty names while her corpse was decomposing under his deck. As you recall, I did do a video driving through the area where Reuben was confronted and admitted to tearing down Kristen's missing posters. Robert Singer, his defense attorney, Robert Singer, known for actually representing Michael Jackson at one point, Joy, uh, but he, he began his case in front of this jury for Paul's jury saying that there was no evidence. He really harped on the lack of evidence against Paul Flores. Apparently, Reuben sits in the galley with Susan, his ex-wife, while Paul's trial is going on, and then when it's his turn, he goes and joins Paul. Also a reminder... How much extra work these two juries are, especially for the prosecution. For example, on Monday, he had to do two opening statements. One for Paul, one for Reuben. The defense has two separate attorneys, so it's not as hard on them. The deputy DA is going to be exhausted, and I pray for his strength and effective representation, ending with justice for Kristen. Well, we'll have to see what happens Thursday, July 21st, 2022, when the trial is expected to resume. I personally feel like there's more delays coming. And then those thoughts make me worry about mistrial. It's too early to go there. I'm just going to expect the best. Justice for Kristen. Just a reminder, you can see locations in some of my other videos on my Kristen playlist, including her final walk, the Crandall Way address, her dorm room, Paul and Reuben's homes, Susan's home, etc. If I can't keep my head held high enough, I'll just be love and watch the smiles come. Thanks for watching. Bring my spirits up. Don't forget to stop and smell the flowers. There's some shit I like to fix, but I still know that I'm blessed.